Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, Right Honorable Ben Kalu, the leadership of the House of Rep Representatives, Honorable members of this House, members of the Nigerian press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Chief of Defense Staff, and the service chiefs who are here. My name is Kayo Diagbetokun. I am the Inspector General of Police of Nigeria. I came into the office of the Inspector General of Police on June 19, 2023, with a vision to emplace a professionally competent, service-driven, rule of law compliant, and citizen-friendly police force that will support the agenda of government in the effort towards economic recovery and growth, as well as social and political development of our country. We are committed to a police force that will respond adequately and appropriately to the dynamics of crimes and criminalities in our communities. We want a police force that will be so well positioned to deliver effectively on its constitutional mandates. We want a police force that the members will be proud that they are police officers and the Nigerian youths and Nigerian people will be proud of. Unfortunately, we met on ground a police force that has been battered, a police force that has suffered serious neglect over the past few years. The police also finds itself operating in very difficult environment, partly as a result, as a direct consequences of this neglect. The manpower in the police today is grossly inadequate. Even the criminals know that. The United Nations ratio of 1 to 400 is not attainable in Nigeria as of today because the ratio in Nigeria is 1 to 1,000, which suggests that we have to double the manpower in the police and over. Provision of logistics is very poor in the police. We have 1,537 police divisional headquarters across 774 local governments in Nigeria. But getting vehicles, operational vehicles, for the division is difficult. Each of these divisions requires at least four functional patrol vehicles. But we have divisions who don't have any functional patrol vehicle as of today. Training in the police is still inadequate. The welfare of personnel is nothing to write home about. Mm. Order, please. Funding. Order, please. Funding. Can we please take our seats, honorable? Funding is critical to achieving the mandates of the Nigerian police. Unfortunately, the citizens are not interested in our excuses for underperformance. What the citizens want is performance. They want us to serve them. We are willing to serve them, but we need your cooperation. We need funding. We need more manpower. We need logistics. We need to train our men adequately. We need to improve the welfare of our officers. We want a well-motivated workforce in the police. In spite of all these inadequacies, the police have been doing so wonderfully well in Nigeria. We have been doing our best 
to protect lives and properties across the country. We have been responding to the best of our ability. Unfortunately, no agency can perform beyond the limit of resources available to it. In the last five months, we have made a number of arrests. We have made a number of recoveries of illicit weapons. Some of these suspects are undergoing prosecution as we speak. But no amount of arrests that we make that will solve our security problems. Today we make arrests of 100. Tomorrow, 200 criminals are coming out. It is not possible to arrest all the criminals and recover all the weapons. But within the environment where we function, the police has done so well, and we are still doing so much. We believe in interagency cooperation, and we are leveraging on the availability and the cooperation that is available from other agencies. We appeal for cooperation. We appeal for collaboration. We appeal that Nigerians should please support the police. We are implementing community policing strategies in all our communities. But we are changing, we are reviewing this and changing to policing diverse communities. This means that we want to take into consideration peculiarities of each communities in the strategies that we employ in policing the particular community. Recently, I announced the establishment of Special Intervention Squad, which is going to be a standby unit of at least a thousand men in each of the states. These men will be specially trained, they will be specially equipped, they will be specially remunerated, and be ready for deployment at shortest notice to any area of the country where there are crises. This way we intend to fight terror, to join the military in fighting terrorism in the Northeast, fight armed banditry in the North, West and North Central, fight kidnapping, armed robbery across all the country, across all our country, and ensure that we reduce violent crimes in our country to the barest minimum. We believe that with your support, we will get the police that we want in Nigeria. There are some of these weaknesses I also want to share, but I will wait for the executive section to share the details of these. Thank you.